How's everybody doing? This is Nick Bringle, and uh, I wanted to make a video just highlighting some old footage uh, from the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, the original 16 millimeter sensor, uh, micro four thirds, just just a masterful camera that Blackmagic came out with. And I think it came out a little bit ahead of its time for, for the market that it was intended for. And as you can see, pairing that old footage with Dehancer and putting it through the ringer of the film grain and halation and tonal contrast, color density, the 60 plus film stocks that you have to choose from, you can really make this footage pop and, and really do wonders with what you know whether you're using a an alexa mini lf or this original pocket cinema camera and and i will tell you all this footage from this camera was shot in 1080 ProRes 422 HQ, and then the lens was a Panasonic 14 millimeter f2.5. It was a pancake lens. I believe I have a photo I will pop up on the screen to show you. I, I know I have photos somewhere else. This is the only one I could find, but um, it, it's pretty incredible how how this footage can hold up over the years. Um, it that ProRes file just really holds up and you can beat up this footage pretty bad as you can see some of these clips you know it's obvious that there's you know highlights or maybe to you it's too dark or too bright but you know this visually is what i was going for and um you know all the specs for film stock and dehancer will be on the screen for you to see so um like i've said a million times before dehancer is incredible um you can get 10 percent off if you use the link down below uh i believe there's a code a lot of you have done that and supported this channel which is incredible and i highly appreciate it um so yeah this uh this footage is from the sony a7s mark ii um and uh, gosh i love that camera that was an incredible camera sort of the start of the end of the uh the a7s market i guess because then you know the fx followed pretty shortly behind that um for sure but um uh, motion vfx is also uh, a sponsor of this video and they have supplied all of the titles transitions the film mats um and they have some really 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 nice uh content for you to be able to use in your videos and i've had zero problems with it um it, it's been really nice to use. So uh, this is Blackmagic Pocket 6K. This is the most probably recent footage, the last few clips you're going to be seeing. And uh, But these are not the raw uh, clips. These are ProRes um, flat clips that were graded. So, you know, I, I, I wasn't able to go in and adjust any other you know, original color temperatures or anything like that. But it doesn't really matter because you're going for what you want. And as you can see, here's a really flat clip uh, from a Pocket 6K. And I believe in this one, I did not use any film stocks. I used the built-in Dehancer Rec. 709 for the Pocket 6K. And uh, it does a really good job. I mean, it just, you know, a lot of LUTs, you know, plug and play. And I, I think with Dehancer, what's really nice is that you can just kind of plug and play and move on, but you also have the ability to really create and mold something that you want just by using these different sliders and the multiple uh, tools for contrast and pushing and pulling the image with color density and, um, yeah, it, it, you have just so many options. So uh, that's really it. I, this is me just talking nonsense about Dehancer. So go subscribe, hit the like button, and um, go check out Dehancer if you haven't already. And um, yeah, I really appreciate every single one of you for stopping by. And uh, go create something, stay safe. And uh, yeah, until the next one.